Hello everybody, welcome back to the Senators franchise. We are now in episode 3 and I am going to be simulating the full season in this episode. So we will get through the entirety of season 2 and I saw a comment essentially telling me to fire the NHL coaches because that only matters if you have Fog of War on, which we do not. So I fired them, sent some new offers out to some... I believe CHL coaches as well as a Nordic coach because I looked at the draft class and it looks like those are the areas we should be focusing on. How do I do this? There we go. View draft class. So yeah, Canada, USA. I got one more USA scout as well, I believe. And then we got some Nordic players here. So I don't expect to have a pick this high up. It is possible. So they think we're going to be in this range. We'll see though. I am going to leave our team as it is. I made one change. I think Gambrell was a player that I had down here. He was listed as a fourth liner, but so is Victor, who's got the medium top nine potential, and he's 24. 77 face-offs, so I called him up to play on the fourth line with Joseph and Kelly. And then we've got Pinto, Sokolov, and Kubalik on our third line. I'm hoping that this will really help Alex grow. I mean... His role is third line scoring forward, and we have him on the second. And that's because if I do this, we get a dash two. Not a fan of all that. So, yeah, we're going to be running with this defensively. These guys are still young, and everyone here, actually, is really young. So that is why I'm not making any dramatic moves just yet. I want to go one more year, see who grows and how much they grow by. We also have about six and a half to seven million of cap open. So that is very promising. How many years do we have Giroux for? Still two more. So this one and next year. He could be a piece to move, maybe. Jimmy's staying, 100%. Got him on an eight year, basically eight by eight. Brady's still here for another five. Alex is coming up this year. Yeah, we signed him on that one year prove yourself kind of deal. Drake is here for four more years. Okay, so I am... Leaving it, as I said, in the AHL, we've got some players here that have some potential, and they will be on the first line. None of them are actually centers, but whatever. You know what? They got a plus one, and Ridley has 70 face-offs. Good enough for me. I'm also playing Tyler on the first pair. He's listed as a minor top two defender. He's got the medium top six potential. We really don't have room for any more defense right now. I'm going to keep Brandstrom, although he is a bit of an issue, it seems like. I'm going to play him in the NHL for now at 80 overall. He's still got the low top four listed as a top six defender. So I think he'll be perfect in there. Sanderson is a top four defenseman with medium elite. And yeah, look at these guys, 90 and 88. They are going to put up some points. Both two-way defenders. No chemistry there, unfortunately. But I do think if an A coach gets dropped, or fired, I should say, not dropped, then we are going to go after them because we need a good coach. So, I don't really expect this team to make the playoffs. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like we're going to miss one more time. And then we're going to be an absolute machine. So, let's start the simulation. Let's see how things go. Maybe there's a chance we sneak in. Who knows? Weirder things have happened. Maybe at the deadline we can make a move. We'll see. Because there are some players. Obviously, like I said, our decor is full. And it's not like anybody is going to retire soon. I believe our entire NHL defensive core is under the age of 27, 26. So very young team here. And I really like just the way everything's shaping out right now. As I said, we might not be ready this year, but when we are ready, which I feel like could be next year, we're going to be insane. My main concern right now is that, okay, yeah, the scouts are signing. We don't really have a first line sniper, but I feel like they can still get the job done. Good enough. There we go. That's a good way to start. All the scouts saying yes, and we start off 3-0. That, oh my goodness. Maybe this is the year. No, we're going to come crashing back down. 100%, but what a start from the lads. There we go. Okay, 7-4-0. I am shocked right now. Keep the wins up. Let's go, Sens. Now I'm really happy I didn't make any moves, because this could mean that Gustafson's going to grow. He's still only 25, I believe. And he's got the medium starter, if I'm not mistaken. So that's beautiful. Okay, overtime losses are fine. I will not complain. That is one point in the column. 
Nice. Back-to-back -back wins there. We also beat the Pens. 7-3 loss to the Sabres. Get dusted by them. Okay, we're on a bit of a dry spell here. Let's go. Get some W's. No way. Nice. That's a bounce back win. We lose to the Bruins. Come on, guys. Don't fall this hard. All right, there's a couple wins, but we are still losing a lot more than we're winning right now, I feel like. Fifth in the division. Come on. How tough is the Atlantic right now? This is insane. I feel like we have a really solid record. I don't want to make any deadline moves because we are doing phenomenal, really. But if we lose a bunch of games going in here, then it's not going to look so pretty. We're wild carding. 31 wins. Oh my, win some games here, guys. Thank you. And then we lose. And then we lose. Oh, why? We were doing so well. 32, 27, and 5. And now you got me second guessing whether I want to keep this team together or not. 2, 8, and 0 in our last 10. That is a surefire way to get me to throw up. The good news is only two points separate us from fourth in the division. And, oh no, they have three games on us. And the Montreal Canadiens have two, so that's not good. Yikes. Let's go see what's going on here. Actually, let's check out the goals for per game. See if we're scoring. Um, not really. That, again, could be the issue with our team not having a first-line sniper. And as we saw, I think Jimmy Superstar has the most points right now, and he's not pointing game, so that checks out. Goals against, we're actually doing all right. Yeah. Compared to the rest of the division, we're middle-ish. So we're doing better at keeping the puck out, but this year we're struggling to score for some reason. Should we... We'll see who's available, okay? I'll say that. We'll go in the trade deadline, see who's there, if we could maybe trade Giroux for a first-line sniper, then maybe. I don't know. I can't commit to it right now. So what's going on here? Jimmy, plus 7, 59 points. Giroux, 54 points and a plus 4. Brady Kachuk, only 46 points, but he is a plus 12. Shabbat is a 0. 33 points, though. Josh Norris is doing okay. For Menton, not doing great on the second line, can't lie. And he hasn't grown at all. 25 points in 64 games and he's a dash for it. Might have to do something about that. Maybe we can go our separate ways. Maybe. Because he does still have the medium top six. And if we try to move him down a line, it does not click at all. He's a dash four. So yeah, I feel like that second line, something needs to be done. Victor not having a great time on that fourth line, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, that fourth line is really struggling. Our goalies are playing great, though. 919 for Phillip and a 916 for Forsberg. Both their GAAs floating around the 250 range, so that is nice. Yeah, again, we're getting it done defensively this year. We rotated because last year we were good offensively and terrible defensively. And now we have the opposite problem. I'm going to go into the trade deadline with an open mind. Formenton, not safe. Giroux, not safe. Here we go. Who is available? I'm going to be a conservative buyer. Enter. Who's up at the top? Do we have any snipers? Schmaltz. Not a sniper. He's a two-way forward. Hurdle, though. That's interesting. That is interesting. Seven years left. At 8 million. And he's 87 overall. He does have abilities. There are teams interested. Trade value's pretty high. Let's see what we can do here. Let me cook for a minute, and maybe we could get Tomas Hurdle to be our first line sniper. The only issue I have with this, I mean, he is center slash left wing. Jimmy is also center slash, yeah. And Brady Kachuk also shoots left, right? Crap. So we wouldn't have like a right winger per se. Could play one of them on the right side. He's only listed as a second line forward? What the heck? This is pretty close in value. Giroux is also listed as a second line forward. I don't know why they would make this trade. <laughs> Doesn't really make sense. The only thing I could think of is that Giroux has two years left, whereas Hurdle has seven. So they'd be getting out of a contract a lot sooner. Yeah, I don't know. My only issue is that our entire first line would be lefties. And I feel like that's going to hurt the chemistry. We'll come back. Let me see. Actually, you know what? I do see something here. It could be a very bad idea. Skaters matching the block. Phil the Thrill. He would be relatively easy to get. 
85 overall, second line forward. He's a sniper. I'm tempted. I am extremely tempted. He's only got the one year remaining. Let's see what we can do here. If we play Drew on the second line, that could work. Could I trade away? Oh, I could, but they don't want him, which is very unfortunate. All skaters, how much value does Alex have? Not a lot. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I, I do kind of want to make this work. I can't lie. Igor's plus minus is actually a zero. He only has 16 points, though. He does have 11 goals, which is nice, but still 79 overall. Has not grown whatsoever. Wow. Tyler's value is low. Draft picks. We have, like, no draft picks for this year. Like, I could give up a fifth for next year. I don't think we'll really get anything with that, but let's try a sixth for next year. A sixth in Formanton to get a first-line goal scorer that could possibly, not guaranteed, possibly put us over the edge. And it is Phil the Thrill. Multi-time Stanley Cup champion. You know what, actually? Let me try with a seventh first, and we'll just gradually work our way up. I don't think I want to give up a fourth, though. Okay, a seventh and Alex for Phil Kessel. Well, good thing I didn't do a sixth. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's better than Hurdle, because... It's a one-year loan player. We won't be locked into a seven-year deal. He's only two overall worse, and he shoots right. He's a right winger. I'm fine with that. We can move Giroud down to the second line, which is where Formanton was, and he wasn't doing much of anything anyway. I think we're good. That's all I wanted to do at this deadline. Swayman's kind of tempting, you know, but Gustafson's doing all right. So, no, absolutely not. Get me out of here. Mark Giordano placed on waivers. 82 overall? I'm going to claim him. Even if he just plays in the AHL, whatever. That is awesome. They want Phil on the second line, and I'm not going to do that. I'm sacrificing the plus three on the first line to have Giroud down here, and this will be a plus two. Yeah, that's okay with me. Norris, I think I am just going to... He's listed as a second liner, though. Shoots left. It's still a plus two. Maybe we'll try that out. Shane Pinto's a center, so there you go. That works out. Everyone's in their positions. Can move him up. There you go. Igor will be a third-line sniper now instead of a fourth line. Matthew Joseph, he'll be okay on the fourth line. Not a big deal. Parker Kelly is a center. So is Victor. Who has the better face-off? 77 and 75. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, cool. I like it. Fill the thrill. Please bring in some goal scoring defensively. Still got this situation going on here. Sanderson, 85. I think that's what he was coming into the year. Maybe 84. And I want Thompson up here because he's got the top four medium, whereas Bernard's got the low. Yeah, cool. And in net, obviously we still got Philip and Forsberg. <laughs> Philip Forsberg, there you go. And in the AHL, let's do best lines again. Obviously I want Ridley on the first line here. Doesn't seem to be growing at all. Is our HL team getting deleted? I don't know why no one's really growing. Get up there. And Giordano, you can be on the second pair. Do I want to take anyone out? Medium. No, you could stay in. And I'll move you up to the second pair, actually. Congrats. Yeah, that's okay. Goaltenders. Mad's still not growing either. What is going on? Should I try playing him in the backup position next year? I might have to. And just hope for a miracle that he grows... Something's got to happen here because this chemistry is gruesome. Gambrell, fine. I don't care. Yeah, you can be a fourth liner. You want to cause problems? Well, guess what? You're demoted. Goche, nope. Don't want to do that because the chemistry goes away. Yarventi, medium top nine. Also medium top nine. Yarventi's younger though, so we'll move him up. Cool. All right. I think we're ready to go. Will we make the playoffs? I don't know. We're in a similar situation to last year where it seems like it's possible, but I also don't want to get my hopes up, you know? Batherson's got 80 face-offs. Drew's got 90. So you're going in the middle then. Yeah, let's rock that. Okay, cool. Let's get simulating. Oh my word. Cole Iserman is a medium franchise player, and then we've got a gem here. Still nothing on Macklin, even though I have three WHL scouts, I believe. Medium top four guaranteed here. Where are we going to be picking? And they're all unknown. Awesome. 
I almost want to like send them out just to view these guys. So there's two players in the OHL, Muse and Matthew. And then we've got Anderson here. Okay. From Switzerland. Scout specific players. I'm going to choose Muse because... Oh, you have to choose what you want them to scout for as well? I don't know. A skills assessment, I guess. And who was the other one? You. Skills assessment. Sure. How many players do I get to pick? Oh, 50? Holy smokes. Okay, so... You as well. Skills assessment. Um... Potential in comparison. You know what? Actually, can I change him? Too late. Oh, I can remove him and then re-add. Okay, so let's do potential in comparison. Skills assessment. I don't know. what. I'm just kind of making it up at this point. Here goes nothing. Once again, sixth in the division after the trade deadline. Will we be able to make it this year or will we suffer a similar fate as year number one? That's a good start. One nothing over the Sabres. Lose to the Canadians. We're on a very trendy win-loss right now, but that is two massive wins in a row. We got to start beating our divisional teams here. No, man. Come on. Oh, my word. We suck. <laughs> We're seventh in the division, and we will be missing the playoffs for a second straight year. Fill the thrill. Could not put us over the edge. It cost us Alex and a 7th, which we weren't getting anything for that 7th anyway, let's be real. So we pretty much just got rid of Mr. Formanton. Whatever. Let's find out who wins the cup. The Toronto Maple Leafs are your Stanley Cup champion. So we finished with a record of 40, 37, and 5, which isn't great. Jimmy ended up with 75 points. How many did Phil the Thrill get for us? He had 52 and was a dash 18. What a bad move from me. Nine points in 18 games on the first line. Disgusting. Come on, Phil. You're better than that. Ah, oh, well, Jimmy, 89 overall. Giroux, 87. Kachuk, 89. What is Shabbat at now? 89. Okay, well, he's even down to 89. One of them was a 90, for sure. You love to see that, though. Gustafson is up to 87, listed as an elite goalie. A 917 save percentage. What's his contract like? Okay, so we still got him for a little bit here. AKA one more season, I believe. So not very long. Phil, I'm not re-signing you. You're gone. Marnsey gets the Art Ross with 103. Kirill and Zuccarello both had 99 points. Will Nye, the hockey guy, had 98. Matthew is up there with 97. McDusty only put up 91 and was a dash 8. Ooh, that's not good. Goalies. Gibson was the leader with a 918. Spencer Knight. 90 overall. He gets a 920. Fazzy with a 922. That's not really surprising. Tampa Bay won the President's Trophy. No one had 50 wins this year, but... Oh, no, never mind. The Ducks did. 50 right there, and they finished third. The top two had 48, and just a bunch of overtime losses. See, that's why I love those. They're important, okay? We take that because two of those is one win. Obviously, we want to win, right? But if you're going to lose, at least try to lose in overtime is all I'm saying. Let's go over the awards here. There you have it. Individual. Marnsey gets the Art Heart combo. Fox with the Norris. Zuccarello takes home the Lady Bing. Bedard with the Calder. Yeah, that is not surprising. Consmythe goes to Matthews. Fazzy with the Vesna and the Jennings. Calfoot with the Bill Masterton. Interesting. DeRoche gets the Jack Adams. Sydney the Kidney with the Selkie. Zook and Ovi. All right, you can view the playoff tree real quick here if you want to see. It went to seven in the Stanley Cup final. That would be an intense series. Well, let's sim up to the draft. Let's draft. And you know what? I am going all in on free agency this year. We're going to have, with Phil gone, I think we're going to have a decent amount of cap. There better be a right wing sniper that we can sign. That's all I'm saying. And I will go and get them. If it is the last thing I do, it might be, because I might get fired at this point. Let's view the draft class one more time, see what's going on here. Oh my goodness, there's two! There's a high franchise in Macklin, nuts. And then there's several medium elites here, top four. We are expect- you're kidding. Why does this game do me like this? Why? What did I do to deserve this? Absolutely nothing. Oh my goodness, look at it. 
Look at it. Look at all the abilities. Yeah, that is insanity. Even this medium elite, Kelly Olsen, loaded up. We don't need centers though, so that would be an issue. Cole or even Robertson would be nice. I have no idea what Robertson is. I would imagine medium elite. It'd be cool if our USA scouts actually did something. View retired players. Jumbo Joe, 1,539. He actually played for Texas. I thought he would have been unsigned, but no, someone signed him. Eric Stahl got over 1,000 points. Perry was so close. Bubbles almost had 300 wins. One short, come on. You gotta come back on a PTO to get that. Tyler Bozak is now a coach. That is interesting. And we got two scouts here in Latera and Stahl. I wonder. It could be worth it. I am... Let's view the draft class one more time. So, with the lottery done, we are expected to pick in here. Left defenseman. We don't... See, I don't know what we need. We need this guy, really. We don't need centers. We don't need defensemen. We do need right wingers. So, I'll likely go after this guy, even though I can't see what he is. Love that for me. How is this possible? I sent a scout out specifically to view these guys. And we get nothing. Literally nothing. Clearly I don't understand how this game works. Whatsoever. That's frustrating. Nicholas is supposed to go 15th. Hmm. Well. Hold your cringe. Because there's going to be a whole lot of it coming up. Start the draft here. We are, imagine we moved up a lot. I mean, it was possible, but extremely unlikely. Sim pick, there you go. 81 overall, high franchise and abilities galore in Macklin. The Capitals also getting a franchise player in Iserman. And then we've got, whoa, 84 overall. Jeez, he's already a second line forward. Sim pick, medium elite, we're down to 78. Yeah, it's tailing off quick here. Well... Sim to pick 13. Still getting some medium elites. Will we luck out or not? Is the question. An enforcer? Let's sort by potential and see if we have any potential steals here. You can pin players in this, right? A bust. <laughs> no thank you. Yeah, so... What did our scouts do? What am I doing wrong, guys? Because something is off here. I'm going to pin you, because that's a guaranteed medium top nine, which is promising. Guaranteed low top six, which is all right. Fringe starter is not good, and we're down... This is a weak draft class. It's very front heavy. Do I risk it on Yuri? That we know nothing about. His rank movement went up. It was supposed to be 14, now going 13. Might have some abilities. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit and you guys are going to end me. Please don't click off the video. <laughs> Here we go, Yuri. Medium top four defensive defenseman with two abilities. That's not bad. It could have been worse, okay? Oh, come on. Sim pick. Medium top six. No abilities. Nice. All right. I'm kind of down so far with our pick. He's also 71 overall. Sim pick. And yeah, okay, you know what? I'm I'm in. I'm in. That was a lucky gamble. I'll say that. Oh, do ya? That is very close to being a guaranteed low elite. So let's go at 95, and we're picking at 109. His draft rank went up. I'm risking it. I don't care. Here we go. Calais, oh, do ya? Is a low elite 49 overall two-way forward. Beautiful. Um, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm like half sick, half not. It's really weird, so if my voice gives up... Um... I don't know. It's going to, though. I don't know if you will last until the next pick, so... Just for the fact you're a guaranteed low top six... Actually, you know what? No. We're going with the medium fringe starter, and then we'll take Dvorak. There we go. Medium fringe starter, 48 overall. Jeez. Should I risk it for Jakob? Went from 202 to 180. Definitely not a medium elite. Another defender. Ah, let's go for the blind shot. Why not? And medium seventh defenseman. Woo! 
What a pick! That was exhilarating. Alright, what do we got up here? Dvorak, probably gone by now. In fact, definitely gone. And we are here with medium bottom six. So at this point, it's worth it to just take gambles. Because medium bottom six isn't really going to do a whole lot for us anyway. Kuznetsov? Sure, why not? Let's see what you got for us. Medium bottom six. Phenomenal. So there's our draft. We did get a defenseman that has two abilities, which is nice. Was, was he a defenseman? I don't even remember now. Coaches are expiring. I will re-sign you. Sure. All right. Francois. Oh my goodness. Is this how much money AHL coaches make? I got to get in the coaching business. Here you go. 400k. To be the associate coach. My word. I can't hire coaches right now. I was going to go see if anybody was worth looking into. And scouts with expiring contracts. Let's go. I mean, you guys suck. I don't even know why I want to re-sign you. Because you did nothing for me. But I will anyway. Sure, you get a little pay increase, I suppose. I don't think the budget here really matters. Because we don't have owner mode on. So they're not going to do anything about it. Does anybody need to be re-signed? Chikrin, can we... No, we cannot offer him an extension. Fill the thrill. See you later, bud. You're released. We have $15 million of cap space. We do have Sanderson coming up, though. Got to keep that in mind. Kubalik. Wants to re-sign. I think I'm going to let him walk. Not letting you walk, though. Offer you a contract. Sure. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I know you can do, like, the cut or whatever. It's, like, 75% of what they want. And it will work, but... I'll not do that all the time. Because it's sort of like a cheat code. I'm going to use the power of video editing here. I'm just going to send everybody that needs a contract a contract. And we will move on from there. Hetherington... Mm, do you want a two-way? If you do want a two-way contract, I'll sign you. Otherwise, no. Perfect. All of the players signed, and the coaches both told me to shove it. So, I guess we're getting a new AHL coaching staff next year. Should I sign Filatov yet? Could maybe play in the AHL. Listed as an other... No, we'll leave it for one year. How much does Kubalik want? Doesn't want a lot. You know what? If I can get you at 2.6 for one year, that's okay with me. We'll still have like 9 million to sign someone. Geo wants... <laughs> Good one. No. Goalies, we have Sogard. And I'm going to make him the AHL backup this year. Forsberg's being demoted to... Wait, did I say AHL backup? I meant NHL backup. And then Forsberg's going to be the AHL starter. Maybe I didn't. Could be tripping. Anyway, offer contract. I'll give you a two-year deal. At 825, and we'll see where we sit then. These guys can stay for now. Don't need to sign you yet. Forsberg's okay. Gustafson is okay. This is dangerous. I do want to sign a, a free agent, but we have Gustafson coming up. He's going to want more than five for sure. And we also have Chikrin coming up. He's going to want a lot more than 4.6. Sanderson's coming up. Oh, dear. We are in one. I think I'm going to let Giroux walk after this year, though. So we'll be freeing up that at least. Let's see who's available in free agency, shall we? Oh my goodness, there's an A-8. minus er, Why do I keep saying that? An A-NHL minus coach. Woodworth is a B with defensive. And Baumgartner is for veterans. Amazing. We have like no veterans. 53% fit. I still think it might be worth it. 57. I'm going to do it. Woodworth, you're gone. I could maybe bring you back, but I'm going after the A- minus coach. Because I feel like the A- minus actually matters. So I'm going to try to offer him a pretty penny here. We'll go all the way up to 2.8. Offer contract. Please, Rodney. Don't make me go after one of these guys. You're the only other NHL head coach, actually, Woodworth. So this has to work. And then I guess I have to make you the interim head coach. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully we get the A- minus coach. That would be splendid. Let's see who's available in free agency. Give me a right wing. Wow. Jeez Louise. UFA? 13.8. We don't have that. Oh my word. How do you like pass that up though? I feel like we got to do something and try to get him. We have to. That's insane. What contract can we free up? We have to give it a shot. Because if we do manage to pull this off, that would be ridiculous. Okay, so 1.2. I 
and Bernard Docker. That is a possibility there. 1.3. Hamannick. Yeah, you're gone. See ya. I will literally give you up for a bag of pucks at this point. I don't know if this will give us all that we need, but I'm going to try it. What about a fourth? Probably not, but I'll give it a go. Uh, no, too far off. Okay. A fifth, perhaps? Probably still not. Trade. Rejected. Not sufficient at all. I'm going to get a seventh for him, aren't I? I might not even. That might not work. Okay, there we go. A sixth. We take that. If we can free this up, that would be unbelievable. Teams want him. His value's actually okay, surprisingly. I'll just get a draft pick because he's just going to play in the AHL anyway. Can we get a second for him? No shot. But you better believe I'm going to try. Value's definitely not there. Proposed trade. Sweden, just a touch. Have a sixth. Have a sixth. I don't care. Oh, my word. What do you mean? You did come out. With the short end of the twig. Guys, it's happening. It's happening. We have $16 million of cap space. Giroux's gone next year. I what do, I got to offer him something ridiculous, no? Like 14-5 maybe? Just to guarantee he signs with us? He's 96 over. You can't pass up on this opportunity when we have it. Offer the contract. Currently considering my... Guys. This could be franchise changing. Come on, Matthews. Oh, all right. No! We didn't get the coach. That sucks. But, okay. AHL head coach signed. I don't really care, though. Matthews. Matthews. No! Oh. My. I'm devastated. I don't even know what to do anymore. I guess, let's sort by overall. Any other right-wing snipers we could bring in? Pavelski, yeah, he's a two-way forward. I kind of want a sniper. Oh, my word. We have $16 million of open cap space. Is there any, like, crazy goalies here? Farlamov, no. We have an 87. Thank you, though. You know what? I'm going to try to get to Foley on a one-year deal and just really overpay him because it doesn't matter. We just have him for the one year anyway. So he could be our new first line right wing sniper if he accepts that. He might not. Imagine we have to go back to Phil. I will cry because that did not work out. Advanced A. Can we at least get to Foley? And the head coach is gone too. Okay, so we got our first line right wing sniper. It could have been Matthews, but it's not. The drama of it all. Okay, well, let's hire coach. Am I going to have to bring back? No way. There's no head coaches. <laughs> what just happened? I thought if everyone signed there, we would have been set. Any other good players want like one year deals? Lindgren, is he, uh, he's RFA. So yeah, I want to sort by UFA. Muzzin, could bring in Krejci, but I feel like we have players for all these spots. Miles Wood could be a depth player for us maybe. Add some grit. What is his player type? Two-way forward, but I think he's a bit of a tough guy. He wants two years. I'll give him a one-year deal as well at 1.7. Sure. Next year's free agency. We're getting somebody. Absolutely, we're getting somebody. Advanced day. Miles. Actually, just send him to next season. If we don't get him, I'm over it. Can there please be a coach? There's not going to be, is there? We're going to have an interim coach. I'm genuinely heartbroken. Coaching staff... No one fired their coach, so... Oh, they just hired one for us. Great. Yeah, a B-. minus. Good stuff. 58% team fit. Woo! Team's buzzing. I swear they just made this guy up. He doesn't actually exist. 67%. <laughs> oh my word. I can't believe how much that just blew up in my face. One more year without the playoffs. Wait, where's the Foley? What the heck? Uh, so no... Did they have him scratched? Or is he just in the age? What? Okay. Yeah. How about no? First of all. I think I am going to play the younger guys though. So Miles Wood might be an AHL guy for us. They want Ridley up here on the second line. Maybe? Defense, we have six defenders here. Sanderson, 86, 90, and 89. So that's beautiful. Ooh, up to 82. That's good stuff. Goalies. 
I'm going to try to offer contracts right now as well to get that out of the way. We got to send some players down here though because we had two scratch. The Foley is our first line right wing sniper. I do not care. Who am I sending down is the ultimate question. Igor is not growing whatsoever. So maybe I'll send Igor down, send him to the first line AHL and just see what happens there. Because that's not okay. You can't stay at 79 overall. Get real. Igor. Miles Wood. Smell you later. You're gone. And let's go to best NHL lines. Obviously, we need to check out the AHL as well. I still can't get over what just happened. That offseason was a complete fleece. Head coach preferred lines. Why, though? Toffoli's up there. I do not care. Norris can play. He's second line, though. Okay, you can go there. Ridley, who shoots left. You shoot right, so that's fine. There you go. Shane Pinto can stay here, who also does not seem to be growing. Love that for me. Fourth line is full of two-way forwards. 77 face-offs in the middle. Toffoli better score some goals. He does not like that first line, apparently. Or maybe it's something with the coach. Defensively, the chemistry also died here, apparently. Love that. But it's 0-1-0, which is acceptable, I suppose. At least we don't have any red. And in net, we've got Phillip. Actually, I forgot I wanted to do that as well. So let's actually call up Mads, who is now... 80 overall can definitely be an NHL backup. Get in there, Mad Substitute. And in the AHL, we are obviously going to put Forsberg. And do we want Ferguson or do we want this guy? <laughs> Levi. Medium fringe starter. He's 22. And you're 25. Let's go with uh, Levi. Yeah, perfect. Tyler's still not going anywhere. That is... Also upsetting. Should probably get some AHL players here just to fill out the roster a little bit. Lindgren still has an... Oh, I guess he was an RFA, right? What if we sort by potential here? Is there any decently overall players that we could sign? Lindgren is not happening. Sure, you can play in the AHL for us. Offer contract. There you go. Maybe you'll grow into something. Maybe you won't. Probably not. But we're going to give it a shot. There you go. Our head coach sucks. <laughs> Okay, one more year. <laughs> one more year and we're going to be good. This It could have been this year. It could have been. But we got completely finessed. Advanced day. Advanced day. Got him. And advanced another day. Hello? Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's fine. I just want Igor to be on the first line. And same with this Angus guy because seems to be getting much better, which is great. And defensively, going to play Tyler up here. And Maxence. Medium top six, so yeah, I think he's been growing a little bit too, but clearly not enough. In net, we got Forsberg, so our HL team should be very solid this year. Mads can hopefully grow a lot. And okay, last thing I'm going to do for this is send out some contract extensions, and then we're done. How much more does Jacob want offer? Oh my word. Claude, I'm not signing you. Sanderson wants... That's reasonable. I'll give you 5.2, Okay. Toffoli, you're gone. You're a one-year deal. And what about Ridley? Another prove-yourself kind of contract here. One point. Actually, I'll give you exactly that. One mil for two years. I'll, I'll boost it a little bit. Give you some incentive, okay? Not interested in extending, but that could change. I have to offer him a contract. We can't wait. Gotta be done. Oh, my word. Okay, let me know how many years you think we should sign him for. I won't sign Jacob yet. I'll leave that up to you guys to let me know what we should do. That is insanity. But we can't let him walk. We could trade him, but I don't want to do that particularly. And Gustafson doesn't want that much more. Beautiful. I'll give you 535. Sick. Okay, well... We have some action items for you guys. Let me know how many years we should try to get Jacob for. Should we try long-term? Should we try the one-year thing and see what happens? Should we move him? And obviously, we're going to let Giroux walk after this year. And we're going to try to go for... Hopefully, there's another Matthews-type player in free agency. But yeah, that was truly heartbreaking. Those two decisions right there. If we got the coach, we got Matthews. We're in the playoffs. No questions asked. Right now, I'm not sure. We do see... Some moderate player growth, but not really what I was expecting. 
So we're in a tricky spot right now, guys. But you know what? What fun would it be if it was easy, right? So thank you for watching. Go Sens go.